This is the weekly news from healthmanagement.org. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus of Ethiopia has been nominated for a second term as Director General of the World Health Organization by France, Germany and other European Union countries. This is the first time that a candidate for the top job at the WHO has not been nominated by the home country. The election for the position takes place in May. Q Health goes public at a valuation of $2.3 billion as demand for its COVID-19 test continues to increase. The test consists of a swab, test cartridge and battery-operated reusable reader and delivers test results in 20 minutes. The test is already being used by the Mayo Clinic and the Pentagon. Apple's newest software platform, iOS 15, has a new health sharing feature that gives users the ability to provide others with important health and wellness data collected over a period of time. Users have full control over which data to share and with whom. The app offers trend analysis for 20 types of data and can highlight important changes and insights. Latest research shows that children who experience sexual or physical abuse or are neglected are more likely to die prematurely as adults. Adults who reported experiencing sexual abuse by the age of 16 had a 2.6 times higher risk of dying in middle age, and those who reported experiencing physical abuse by 16 had a 1.7 times higher risk of premature death. 